The Big Ten, the big stage. It's said so often, we rarely think about what it really means. And at Rutgers, a university which is located near the center of everything, it means even more. Here on the banks of the old Raritan, the big stage means golden opportunity. Countless options for young men and women and student athletes who are looking to build a foundation for a promising future. Off the court, there are countless and diverse opportunities for internships, networking, employment, and life after college. And on the court, the big stage borders on the largest media market in the country and includes one of the most passionate fan bases in the nation. BTN is on hand at the Rutgers Athletic Center. The rack is sold out today as Purdue is in town to take on the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Edwards going around some traffic. Freeman again with a rejection. We've seen this Rutgers team in this building play well against ranked opposition. And Rutgers jumps out on top to start this ball game. He's a chop. Almost 39% from behind the arc. Is he feeling it? Two blocks. Then the little shimmy. That's a 4-0 advantage in blocks to the Scarlet Knights. So on campus at the rack, there's the opportunity to not only see some great basketball, but also to catch some of the best teams in America. And on this day, as Coach Steve Peichel and his Scarlet Knights took to the hardwood, it was for a ferocious battle against the number three team in the country in front of a capacity crowd that was thinking upset. Hands by Sanders and a little showtime for Corey Sanders. You better put that through after all that fresh pastry. Sanders with eight, and Rutgers back with a 10. Rebound underneath by Corson to put it back up and in. While the Boilermakers jumped out to an early lead, Coach Steve Peichel calmed his troops while keeping his own cool. On paper, Purdue toppled Rutgers in almost every category, but there are some things you can't measure on a stat sheet. And those are the things the head coach demands, the things the head coach is calling upon to help rebuild this program. Grit, effort, sacrifice, and heart. Rutgers won the battle on the boards, in the paint, and on second chance points. And the 15 point lead that Purdue built in the first half never increased. In fact, it continued to dwindle. Kicked out to Bullock, and now numbers again as Sanders leaks out. Sanders against Matthias, the hoop, and the foul. Freeman knocks it away with a steal. Freeman to the rim for the two-hand flush. Three different Scarlet Knights posted double-digit scoring nights, with junior Corey Sanders leading the way with a season-high 31 points, helped fuel in 11-2 run, which was capped by this dunk from Shaquille Dorson in exclamation point on a stunning Rutgers comeback. High off the glass, oh, but Dorson flying in from nowhere to put it down. Where did that come from? Four points, three rebounds for Dorson. It's a one-point game. Oh, man. Twice in the second half, Rutgers came within a single point of tying a team on an 18-game winning streak. The explosion had everyone at the rack on their feet. To get past Harms, high off the window. No, the tip is there for Freeman. Effort plays all of them right now, going toward Rutgers. And for those who came looking to check out one of the best teams in America, they were also treated to a pulsating Big Ten barn burner. Yes, Rutgers trailed by a wide margin early, but never surrendered and forced Purdue to use every ounce of strength and make almost every free throw down the stretch to survive against a team that was dogged all night long. From the foul line, good, it does count, but Purdue survives. 78-76, Purdue sneaks out a win on the road. At this point of the season, Coach Peichel's bench has become rather short. Two tough injuries to key players have hampered his ball club. Two players who might have been the missing pieces against Purdue. Two components that could have turned the tide against the third-ranked Boilermakers. Monday Night Hoops in Piscataway. Just 48 hours ago, this building hosted the Purdue Boilermakers. Tonight, it's another team from Indiana, the boys from Bloomington. 
That short bench was also on short rest, playing in a game two days later as the Scarlet Knights welcome the Indiana Hoosiers to the rack. Jadik has got to release it. How about that? Jake Dadica. After the game against the Hoosiers, Coach Peichel noted that his team didn't have the same energy it did two days earlier against Purdue. And there's the distribution. Sanders to Freeman. Despite double-digit efforts from Deshaun Freeman and Geo Baker, the Scarlet Knights just didn't have enough to defeat the Hoosiers. Still, there were some good moments, things to build on, and lessons to learn. Geo Baker, that's a little glimpse of the Rutgers future right there. So Coach Peichel needs to look ahead to the close of Big Ten play for another Rutgers victory. And with matchups on the horizon against Nebraska, Northwestern, Maryland, Ohio State, and Illinois, there are still plenty of fine opportunities for the Scarlet Knights.